Hey guys, this is iMovie How To, showing you iMovie tutorials. Today, I'll be showing you how you can add chapter markers to your project. First, before we start, let's go to iMovie Preferences and check Show Advanced Tools. Put chapter markers, as well as the picture in picture and green screen. Chapter markers are useful if you want to put your project into iDVD, for example. Making chapter markers in iMovie is very easy if you have advanced tools turned on. First, drag the icon that looks like a speech bubble with an arrow on it to the part you want to make the chapter marker. So, let's add a chapter marker to the beginning of the video. Let's call the chapter marker Start. And then we can drag another chapter marker to somewhere around here. And you can call it Drive. So now, let's drag another chapter marker to around the credits, which is around down there. So just drag it and then release your mouse and then you can just rename what's there. Next to the credits icon, there's a brown icon that looks like the credits icon but in reality it does comments. And comments just allows you to like put markers in your video without actually having chapter markers. Chapter markers just puts metadata in your video that allows you to actually skip to certain parts of your video once it's exported. So now, I should demonstrate this by going to share, export movie, and let me just share the movie. I can import my export project in QuickTime Player, and a new button in QuickTime Player will appear. It looks like a four square. Here you'll see the chapter, so you just click on it. It goes to a certain part of your movie. The same thing will happen on DVD Player. If you use iDVD, so I can demonstrate this to you by opening iDVD. So let's just go to iDVD by going to the applications folder and find iDVD. Let's open up. I can open a new project, call it demo to my desktop. IDVD appears. There are many themes in IDVD, but I'm going to choose modern. Now, let's drag in our copy export of chapter markers into our IDVD project. We drag it in, it automatically puts play movie and scene selection into your IDVD project. Normally, it would just put a single menu item in your project. You can go to scene selection. Now we can see our scenes just like we saw in Big Time Player. We can also simulate the DVD by clicking on the play button. And with, that's just like the DVD player. This is the chapter forward and chapter back button, so we can just simulate pressing the chapter forward button, just like you would on a DVD player. So, that's how you can add chapter markers in iMovie 11. Thank you for watching this video. If you have questions about this video, put it in the comments below. Subscribe to me so you can receive future iMovie videos. Thank you for watching this video.